This is the street we live on. This, um, this is our lot, obviously. <clears throat> Here's the neighbors next door, the street in the other direction. Right behind our lot is uh, the school room, right, where the kids go to school. We can go over here closer. And you can't make it out very well, but that's the back of the lot, and that's the school. It's a large parcel of land, maybe um, 10 acres. There's about 800 kids go to that school. So here's the project. Here we built this little house to store our tools and things in where the guard stays at night. And they got this blue tarp to protect them from the sun and the rain. We've got materials here, um, block, and sand and gravel for cement that we'll be using. And a bathroom. Imagine that. You can hear uh, they're using a saw right now. So we got power from the neighbors. We're going to get temporary power here soon. There's the, this is a lot over here. The house is going to encompass most of the lot. We had one fellow in here dug uh, dug the whole uh, thing by hand. It's hard to believe. But he dug this whole place up. I don't know how well we will able to see this, but all these trenches, all these holes, this is all dug by hand. Pretty much by one guy. It looks like he could win the middleweight uh, boxing title tomorrow. I wouldn't want to fight with the guy. He's a strong guy. So what's happened so far is uh, there's going to be 26 uh, columns and the first thing that happened is we dug these trenches and we dug holes where these uh, columns go into. I'm going to get close up on one here. And that's filled with about a foot of concrete. There's rebar down in there, and that's what's holding up this uh, steel now for the column. These are anywhere from four meters to six meters tall, so that's somewhere around 13, 14 feet to I guess 21 feet, 22 feet. So it'd be the height of the beams, and then the roof will be above that. And then uh, because we have earthquakes here, there'll be. Um, seismic beams, concrete beams with rebar that connect through these trenches that connect all the columns together at the bottom and then there's steel beams, I-beams at the top connecting them, which I guess protects us from earthquake somehow. So the first thing that's happened is they've poured the cement down and they've stood all these columns upright and then uh, poured steel down below, or poured concrete down below, that's what's holding them up now. And now the second phase is you can see these guys are putting together um, forms for the concrete and they'll be uh, filling these with concrete, obviously. So, I don't know what to tell you. The, the, um, over here is where they're putting together the steel. This is what this guy's doing right now is what will go between from one, one column to the next to hold the bottom so they can't move. This will be formed and put down the hole. Guy over here bending all the forms. We uh, have more power tools here than most. We Normally they cut all this stuff with a hacksaw, believe it or not. I got a chop saw. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces have to be cut with a hacksaw. Anyhow, I got a, I have a chop saw, so we've been using that. I got a power saw here for cutting the wood. That's unusual. Then you'll see he's putting the wire together with all this steel. Normally in the States, we got these uh, prefabricated little wire ties, and you got a special tool. You just put it on there and wrap it around once in the sun, but not here. We uh, cut each piece off and wind it around and, and pull it together with a, you'll see it. He's going to pull it together now with a pair of pliers cut it off and then tap it over so there's no dangerous end sticking out. A lot of labor. Um, well, the next phase after we get the columns up, I'll do this again when we start putting up the steel. They're going to put big steel beams up on top of these columns and I'm being told there's going to be no power equipment coming here. 
it's all going to be hoisted up there by hand and their beams that are going to run this this house is uh, 35 meters by 23 meters so that's about uh, 80 85 feet wide and 100 and I don't know what that comes to 100 and no, yeah, uh, 35 meters, about 100 and, I don't know, 110 feet long, whatever that is. This pool in the middle is 20 feet wide by 60 feet, if that gives you any idea of scale. Um, but there's this beam in the front, and this would be the front portion of the house here where there, there's no columns over where in this front area, so some of these beams are going to span uh, not the first five meters, but from five meters to 23 or 18 meters long. That means there's a 70 foot beam. High beams are going to go up. And they're going to be pushed up there by hand somehow. I can't wait to see it. But I guess that's what they do. Welders are going to do the work and they do it every day. So I see it happen. I just, ne I never actually see them push the beam up there, but I see there's big buildings built here and there's no no cranes, no power equipment. I, I have seen like 10 guys carrying a beam on the ground, but never seen them pu actually push it up into place and weld it there. So, well, that's it for today. That's all I got. Talk to you later on the next version.